I bought an upgrade for my server rack and that is this HP rack console and this is the TFT7600 uh, monitor with the keyboard and uh, it's a one new module. So in this video we are gonna install it in my rack. Hi my name is Victor Bart and welcome to Retro Machines. So what is a rack console? It's basically just a monitor, this model is 17 inch with a keyboard and a trackpad that is one new height and that slides in and out your server rack. So you can connect this VGA monitor and the keyboard and mouse to a server and configure it. And that's basically it and it doesn't take much room if you uh, close it down. The top cover of the HP TFT7600 feels really cheap, it's made of plastic. <laughs> this is not server grade plastic, this is just... No, I don't like this. <laughs> and here we have a button to release the motor and open it. And here on the front we have a USB port and also on the back a USB port for a USB pass through. We have a full size keyboard even with a numpad and it's a US layout and yeah it feels pretty decent to type on even the arrow keys here the rack console is on sliders uh, with this cable management rail so the cables don't get tangled up here's the power supply and we have here VGA and uh, PS2 but also we have the USB option here and a USB pass through so you can use this console with older PS2 hardware or with uh, modern USB uh, connections this monitor supports a wide range of resolutions. It's now on 1024 by 786, but also 4040 by 900. But the 1280 by 1024 is not shown here in Debian. So probably if you put it on a Windows machine, you have also 1280 by 1024. The rack rails of this unit is designed for square holes and cage nuts but my sun rack doesn't have cage nuts but direct threaded holes. So I need to figure out how I gonna install it. But here on the rack rails we have some place to put the normal sized uh, rack screws in. So I probably just gonna screw the screw into my rails flush with it then put this against it and then thread it through and see if that works otherwise I need to uh, modify this but I rather just mount it, it on the hanging on the screws because the unit is pretty lightweight let's see where I want to put it in my rack because I can't put it up here then I'm typing like this that is not working so I also don't want to have it too low otherwise I'm typing like this so it must be somewhere in the middle and in the middle part is pretty full but let's see if I type like this it would be nice on this position of the sun but then I need to remove the two sun servers and uh, not not sure yet or we can put it on the place where the drawer is now and move that up and see if that can work that would be pretty nice but then we need to take out the quantum 3d alchemy system which is now just stacked on top of the drawer and on the back on top of a switch so that is not uh, connected right now and this is the most expensive machine after my file server <laughs> in my rack. It's probably worth more than even my file server. And the dual Pentium 3. Let's see, that gives a lot of room. So let's put the screws here in the rack rails. And as you can see I've just holes with tapped uh, threads instead of the case nuts here. And the handy thing is that the sun servers are nicely racked so I can use them to put the server on while mounting it. I think it's fixed. Perfect. <laughs> hmm. I need to remove some hardware in the rear <laughs> otherwise it won't fit. So let's try this again, now I have some more room. I 
Okay, the rack console is finally in, and now see if I can get the screws on the right place. This will work and the height is perfectly fine, only there's a shelf sticking in my back. <laughs> so I don't have enough room to slide it out and stand on a normal uh, position. <laughs> What I like about my surf rack is I can take the doors out and I switch to my GoPro because here as you can see there's not much room <laughs> but without the doors I can easily work on here and look at this an HP 4 port console switch I have a KVM switch in here and it is very old it's from like 1999 I think this is one of the oldest parts in my rack and Tim donated this unit to me and there's one <laughs> disadvantage of this uh, system <laughs> and that is the cable spaghetti <laughs> oh, this is terrible the amount of cables if you compare this with a modern system with just one UTP and, an <laughs> and a converter to VGA and, <laughs> and USB let's uh, install uh, this uh, KVM switch because I want to use it and I think it's really cool that it is so old. The KVM switch is connected and as you can see this is really old. AASX3, Pentium 166MMX, Windows 98, Windows Vista. But I'm not sure which cable is which so let's try it. Nice, with double control you can go into the menu. Awesome, we are now on my uh, file server with the Linux console and this screen is really hard to film off but the console and the KVM are working let's see if the Quantum 3D system still fits in the rack because I have uh, the rack shelves here and I'm not sure if the machine still can be put in now oh nice there's uh, just 5 mm room and on this side 3 mm awesome <laughs> so I have now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 U3 from the 38U but there's one more system that I want to install on the rack, the console server that I made in uh, some videos ago. Because now with the monitor I finally have the monitor to use the console with the serial ports and then I can uh, configure the Sun V100 and the Sun V210 and other things that need console. So that is this uh, little box. And it started its life as just a one new uh, router with some kind of Linux on it and I upgraded the machine from a Celeron to a Core 2 Duo E6600 with 4 GB memory and it's running Linux Debian 1, 2, 3, 4 serial ports and this is a PCIe serial port card so I run the console cables on it to configure things with a console here's my uh, future PFSense router I still need to configure that but I gonna do some testing soon with that machine and with some old switches and VLANs and trying to get a good understanding how everything works before I put it in production. Someday I will just reconfigure the whole setup in the <laughs> in the rack and then everything will change maybe. But for now I think this is a good spot and maybe <laughs> I need a second uh, patch panel uh, with keystones and then it will go here because this is just a blank because this one U switch is actually more a two U switch because there's a 12 cm fan on top. How not to install servers? The console server is now connected and I tucked away the KVM cables in here so it's a little bit nicer in the rack. Also the console cables uh, are routed down here to the two sun machines for when I'm gonna make that video. And I put 
a second pro curve switch in here also to support the uh, quantum 3d system and i want to play with some networking and configuration and what's better to do than on real hardware these two switches are just 10 100 switches with gigabit uplinks but they are not that old so i can still do some testing in networking and uh, playing around with VLANs because I don't have that much experience with it so it's perfect to have two physical switches in your network to play with because that gives you much more experience than in a virtual environment Core to Duo 2.4 GHz 4 GB of memory and this system is just running in a SATA hard drive Let's call this one console server. Do you really need a rack console like this in your home server lab? It depends. If you play around a lot with hardware and you try out a lot of things and install a lot of machines on some older hardware, this is an epic solution, super handy. It, it folds down like to nothing and it takes no space but if you have enough room and you have a little table next to your rack with just a monitor keyboard and mouse and a chair that is also a good solution and probably a little bit cheaper than this one this one was 120 euros and the guy where I bought it from lived like five kilometers from here and he even delivered it to my home so thank you for that that was uh, really nice I think for my setup this is a perfect upgrade and I really wanted this for a long time but if you only use modern new machines like maximum seven years old you probably have just a uh, remote management over IP so if you set that up you can just <laughs> sit with your laptop on your couch and configure your whole network but with my older systems like this core to duo or this atom with a more consumer motherboard you don't have to remote management also the pentium trees don't have that so a vda solution with a kvm is for in my case a good solution and let's do a quick review of the hp 7600 rec console the keyboard is really nice it types fine the trackpad is decent not the best but still workable so you don't have to pull out a mouse the screen is also decent not a super good screen but for console work and configure work it is perfectly fine only the plastic of the casing is super flimsy so yeah listen to this it's just hmm so the build quality is not that good but there's here just a metal plate I think it was a good buy for my rack and I would advise you to get one if you need a uh, rack console because I think this one is from 2009 or something so it's not too old and still has the USB functionality if you need that so if you like to support me you can support me monthly on Patreon or use my Amazon affiliated links thanks for watching